All right, so this is a flashcard document that I just created using Perplexity Labs. And as you can see, it is quite interactive. I can make it to run automatically. I can open it if I want to learn more about the definition of that phrase. I can go to another flashcard. I can reset, shuffle. I can open a grid view, opening the dark mode, etc. So this is quite interactive and there are many things that you can do on this flashcard document. So in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can create this flashcard using perplexity labs so let's go to perplexity.ai and then you can log in with your account and by the way in order to be able to create this interactive document uh, you need the pro version or the enterprise version of perplexity because the perplexity labs feature is only available on those plans so unfortunately if you're using the free version you cannot access that but if you are interested there is a 10 dollar discount in the description you can use that uh, you can check the link and then you can get the time discount for the first month of perplexity prompt now this is the prompt that i used to create that flashcard i'm going to right click and then paste it right here and don't worry i'm going to provide the uh, full prompt in the video description so basically create an interactive web-based flashcards with animations for and then here you can provide the topic so in this case or on the previous example i provided the definitions that i want ai turned into a flashcard but you can ask the ai to create a flashcard based on the document that you might have provided you can click this button and then you can select the document from your computer or maybe from your google drive or dropbox account and uh, you can also use Perplexity Labs to actually do the research itself. So you don't have to provide anything, just tell AI to do the research and I will create the flashcard for you. So in this example, I'll try to do that. And I want to learn about, you know, about let's say the types of muscles in human body. And then there's this another instruction format each card with the term on one side and a concise definition on the other. The goal is to help me memorize certain concepts and understand uh, the subject better. And here I specify that I'm in a high school. Of course, you can replace it with, let's say you are in the middle school or maybe in the college, it's up to you. So the reason why I'm including this is because you want to make sure that the wording by AI is going to be something that you can understand and appropriate for your age. Now, after that, you can click this left button. And I do recommend to click this and enable web academic and maybe sometimes social it depends on your subject but in this case i don't think social will be necessary so it's going to reach the web content and academic content and after that just send the message and just wait for perplexity left to turn that prompt into a flashcard and this process could take anywhere between 5 to 10 maybe 15 minutes and i guess i'll just be back when it is done and i will show you the result all right, so the flashcard has been created. Let me just scroll down a bit and click view full screen. So it is a web-based application essentially. And you know, the best part about that is that you can share the link to your friends or maybe if you're, a if you're a teacher, you can share the link to your students so they can learn from this flashcard that you just created. Now, <clears throat> this is the result. And by the way, I think it is important to know that even though you might be using a uh, the same prompt as I am right now, there is no you know there is no reason to believe that it is going to give you the exact same design so sometimes the design will be completely different depending on maybe the topic or your other instruction so expect something that looks a bit different when you're creating a flashcard uh, using perplexity labs so that's something that you need to know and yeah as you can see i can uh, you know click this flashcard to reveal the definition and uh, there's a timer which is always nice and there you go so that's basically how you can create the flashcard using only perplexity labs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.